Earthquakes, a natural phenomenon that can destroy and upend lives in just a few seconds. But what causes them? Earthquakes tend to occur along fault lines, like the Ring of Fire that fringes the Pacific Ocean, upon which archipelagos like Indonesia and Philippines sit. The Earth's crust and part of its mantle is made up of tectonic plates, large slabs of jagged edged rock which cover the surface of the planet like eggshells. These plates grind past each other along lines called faults. When the movement of these plates is blocked, stress builds up, the fault gives way, and the released energy moves through the Earth in the form of seismic waves. These waves can manifest either laterally, rippling across the surface of the Earth, or traveling vertically up towards the surface. It is the former type of wave that inflicts the most damage as it tends to uproot the most infrastructure. In a sense, no. But that doesn't mean scientists haven't tried. They have studied radon gas emissions as well as animal behavior to nail down precursors to quakes. But there are other methods that can help estimate when a quake will strike, although they lack specific dates. Through long-term forecasting, seismologists can predict the probability of earthquakes by looking at where they occurred and in what magnitude over the past 200 years. Scientists then assign a 50% probability to a quake measuring at least 7.0 magnitude in the next 50 years. Earthquakes are usually detected by use of a seismometer, which records ground movement. The intensity or scale of earthquakes is mostly recorded using the moment magnitude scale, which replaced the Richter scale. But the current scale does not take into account the potential damage done by an earthquake. That would depend on the infrastructure in the affected area. After all, earthquakes don't kill people, buildings do. <laughs>